The Warhorse 3600.1, five base heads, four base heads. Stick around, we'll tell you all about it. I'm Jacob Lucky with the Kicker Tech Force. Aaron Malin, Kicker Tech Force. And we're going to talk to you guys about the Warhorse 3600.1. Aaron, tell us a little bit about this thing. Why does it have 3600 in the part number? This amplifier produces 3,600 watts into a one ohm load. It is a full bridge design and has two op gauge 12 volt power inputs and two op gauge 12 volt power outputs. It takes a bunch of current to make that much power. And this really small package, this amplifier is extremely underrated as well. Take a look at this burst certificate for this amplifier. It actually will produce 4,507 watts. That is a ton of output in a small package. What are some of the cool features? So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is going to be the diagnostic port. This thing is really cool for a couple of different reasons. First, it shows you the voltage at the amplifier so you know what's going on at each individual amplifier. If you've got a couple of these, they're all going to have different diagnostic ports. Mm -hmm. Now, it also has a min-max voltage feature so that you can recall and see what those voltage levels were. You just press the button on the side of the diagnostic port and it'll show you the min or the max and cycle back and forth between the two. The other thing that it does is it will show you what type of protection mode your amplifier is going into. Whether it's thermal, whether it's voltage or power supply protection, it tells you all of those different fail cases. If you're having thermal issues, the light will start to get orange and that lets you know the amp's getting a little bit warm. If it's going into thermal protection, the light will actually turn red and the amp will stop functioning. When you have a green LED, that means that it's running cool and it's normal. Aaron, what's this other thing we have on the top of the amplifier here? This is the base knob that is included with the amplifier. It does use a three and a half millimeter port on the back, which also has this little retention clip. Because we know under extreme SPL, there's a ton of vibration, so that retention clip holds it in place. In addition, this is a very smooth operating potentiometer. It has detents, so you can dial in exactly the amount of bass that you're looking for. Again, that's included with the amplifier. What's another couple of cool features we got? Well, for both of these, they both mount magnetically. So there's a little piece on the top that you can peel back and there's a magnet underneath. All you gotta do is bolt this little clip to the underside of your dash or wherever you wanna mount it and then the knob sticks to it. If you don't wanna use that little piece, then you can stick it to any ferrous or magnetic surface in the vehicle. This amplifier is also equipped with competition mode. Aaron, why don't you tell us a little about competition mode? Because the amplifier was designed by base heads here at Kicker for base heads, we specifically designed it with this competition mode for the guy or girl that's gonna design a huge system based on the Warhorse amplifiers. First of all, when you've got a huge bank of amplifiers, you wanna have a single, simple way to set the gains. So the input gain sensitivity is fixed at four volts in competition mode. In addition, we have a voltage regulator that is loosened when you go into competition mode. So if you've got a bank of lithiums and you wanna be able to run a little bit higher voltage, the amplifier will allow for that. Also, competition mode bypasses the amplifier's low-pass crossover. This means that when you're using a whole bunch of amplifiers and a single DSP to control the crossover points, the amplifier's own crossover point is bypassed, so it's not interfering with that. Another nice feature in this amplifier is we can actually turn off the high-pass filter, the subsonic filter. What's something else cool about this amplifier? Well, it's got four fans. There's two on each side of the amplifier. Two of them are gonna be in a push configuration, and two of them are gonna be in a pull configuration. And that's gonna draw cold air directly across your FETs and keep them running really, really cool. They're not actually necessary on this amplifier. The thermal cooling capacity is plenty with just the heat sinks, but like everything else with this amplifier, it's overkill. We want this thing to be reliable. We want it to make a ton of power for you guys and uh, just work really well in the lanes and wh whatever you guys are using them for. But thanks for watching the video. If you have any more questions or in-depth questions about this amplifier, feel free to contact our tech support department. You can call them at 1-800-256-0808 or reach out to support at kicker.com.